normal modes in a pipe. The pattern of displacement nodes N and anti nodes A in a pipe is NA, 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 when the standing wave frequency is 1710 Hz. The pipe contains air at 20 degrees Celsius. Part A. Is it an open or a closed or stopped pipe? Part B. Which harmonic is this? Part C. What is the length of the pipe? Part D. What is the fundamental frequency? Now, we are given a boundary condition uh, for the standing wave. It has to start with a node, a displacement a node. And it has to end with a displacement anti-node. Or we can say that it has to start with a pressure anti-node and end with a pressure node. So that's the given boundary condition. Let's review what we know about pipes. So in an open pipe, because these two ends are open to air, we must have the pressure fixed as the outside pressure. So therefore, these should be pressure nodes, which immediately implies they should be displacement anti-nodes. And clearly, this scenario does not match this situation. In a closed pipe, on the other hand, we must have a pressure node here. Therefore, this is a displacement anti-node. But on the other hand, uh, on this side, we don't allow the molecules to move, so therefore this becomes a displacement node, therefore a pressure anti-node. So in terms of the displacement picture, if we start with anti-node and with a node, this would be a closed pipe. So the node part would be the closed part, the anti-node part would be the open part. So let's see here in part A, we are given that we have to start with a displacement node and with a displacement anti-node. Therefore, we should have a closed pipe uh, which has the open end on the right-hand side, as you can see here. So, since we have a displacement Note, the air molecules are not allowed to move beyond this point, so they have a fixed uh, boundary condition on one end. And a displacement anti-node, the molecules are free to move, but the pressure is fixed on the other, other end. Uh, this is a closed pipe. All right, so the answer to part A is it's a closed pipe. It was asking, is it closed or open? Part B is asking, which harmonic is this? Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the given uh, pattern. So let's copy it here. Now we're going to count. We have to start with a node and with an anti-node, fundamental. Uh, and then we go to the next one, node, anti-node, second, node, anti-node, third, node, anti-node, fourth, node, anti-node, fifth. So, normally we would consider this to be the fifth harmonic. It would be fifth harmonic. But we will revisit part B after doing the other parts. Okay, so let's leave it uh, like this for the moment. Part C is asking me what is the length of the pipe. Now we know that the node anti node distance is lambda over 4, so for consecutive node and anti-node. 
So we have a fundamental mode, node anti-node is our fundamental mode, which means that lambda 1 over 4, first harmonic divided by 4, is equal to L, so lambda 1 is equal to 4L. Now, for the second harmonic, that's, that's what we would call an A and A, uh, we would have a lambda over 2 from node to node, and then we would have a lambda over 4 here. So uh, lambda 3 over 2, and it's going to become clear why I call it lambda 3, plus lambda 3 over 4 is equal to 3 lambda 3 over 4, and that is equal to the length of the pipe. Therefore, I find that lambda 3 is 4L over 3. So you can see why I call it 3. So in fact, I find that for the nth normal mode, lambda n is 4L divided by n, uh, where n is an odd integer, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. So, what I have considered here is the third harmonic, not the second harmonic, because it's lambda uh, 3. So, uh, we can see that what we called a fifth harmonic in part B actually would correspond to n equals 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So it's going to be n equals 9 here. So it would be the ninth harmonic. So lambda 9 is then 4L divided by 9. And that is the propagation speed V divided by the frequency of the ninth harmonic. Therefore, uh, we find that the length of the pipe would be 9 propagation speed V divided by 4 times uh, the frequency F9. Okay, so uh, we were asked to find the length of the pipe. So the length of the pipe is 9 times 343 meters per second divided by four times the frequency uh, which was given as 1710 hertz so 1710 this gives us for the length of the pipe 0 0.45 meters okay so uh, let's move on to part d what is the fundamental frequency? Well, we have a harmonic series here. So F9 is 9 times F1. So we can find the fundamental frequency 1710 Hz divided by 9. So the fundamental frequency is 190 Hz. And now Let's revisit part B. Uh, so since we have found that the frequencies are given by n times the fundamental frequency, where n is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, it's the uh, odd number, odd integer. So this is the first mode, second mode, third mode, fourth mode, fifth mode. Uh, this is telling us that uh, second, fourth, sixth, eighth harmonics do not exist. Okay, so what we have called the fifth harmonic in our first attempt for part B is actually not correct. So this is not the fifth harmonic. 
it is actually the ninth harmonic so it's not the fifth harmonic uh, it is the ninth harmonic so this is the ninth harmonic okay so we should be careful now we're talking about normal modes in a pipe we're given a pattern that starts with a note and with an anti-note a displacement note and displacement anti-note and we're given the frequency of the standing wave and uh, pipe contains air at 20 degrees c that tells us the propagation speed of sound is 343 meters per second is it open or closed? Well, for open pipe, we have two pressure nodes, two displacement anti-nodes. For closed pipe, we have one pressure node, one pressure anti-node, or one displacement anti-node, one displacement node. Therefore, this is a closed pipe. Which harmonic is this? Well, it's the fifth normal mode. So we can see that uh, it's the fifth normal mode. Which harmonic is it? We decide later. What is the length of the pipe? Uh, the note to anti note distance is lambda over 4, that's the fundamental, which is lambda 1 is 4L. The next one, note anti note, note anti note, that is 3 lambda over 4 equals L, lambda is 4L over N. We see it's 4L over 3 for the second normal mode. So uh, instead of saying it's fifth harmonic here, we should say it's fifth normal mode uh, for this discussion and then we will find which harmonic it is because we have lambda and 4l over n n is an odd number what we called fifth harmonic is actually the fifth normal mode which is the uh, ninth harmonic so for the ninth harmonic lambda 9 is 4l over 9 which is v divided by the frequency the ninth frequency so uh, the length is then uh, basically uh, 9v over 4f so 9 times 343 divided by 4 times the given frequency that's the length what is the fundamental frequency because we have a harmonic series f9 is 9 times f1 f1 is uh, the frequency f9 divided by 9 190 hertz and since we have determined the fifth normal mode is the ninth harmonic here we go back revisit part b and call it the ninth harmonic